cunt. We are live on camera one. Ca oh, hey, sorry, I'm off. My studio director had me off. What's going on, guys? Matt here, country song teacher. If you're, if this is your first lesson, uh, watching me teach guitar, we try to keep it really fun and a little bit of guitar instruction. So if you need a good guitar teacher, I'm probably not it. If you need a little bit of fun, I might be your guy. Uh, number ten trending song on YouTube's Luke Combs, uh, ten feet, ten feet apart. Wait, that'd be too far. Uh, six feet apart. Um, it's going to use some weird little chords, little. What I appreciate about Luke too is like he can just be home sitting in his garage. Uh, be light after dark. So we are six feet apart. And it'll go platinum. He'll just buy. Like, right, give me that guitar. There you go, platinum song. So the guy is definitely a, a gift for sure. All right. So. There's kind of three sections of this song. There's the two verses that have the same chord, same order. Then there's the first part of the chorus and the last little part at the end. We'll go over all that stuff. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So, lock in the two bottom strings, you're going to play a G chord. And I talk about this a lot when you're learning guitar. It helps. It really helped me a lot. When you can move your fingers while you're on a chord. So on this G chord, he's... He's strumming and then hammering on, like he's starting out strumming the G chord without his first finger. So that's your first chord, the G. And then keep the bottom two locked and start playing the top and press the top string second fret. So G, it's, at a, it's, a kind of, it's called a D Seuss four over F sharp or something. So those two chords kind of make up this song. And in full disclosure, he has his guitar tuned half step down. I do all my videos in standard tuning. So if you want to play it in the same key he does, you can put this little capo on the first fret, tune it, and take the capo off. You'll be a half step down, play it how he does. But again, I use all standard tuning. That's what most of you all do, just like me. When the dog was starting to bloom, and the crickets humble too. Now you're gonna to go to a C at nine, I call it a C, but it's just like your G, the bottom two are locked, but it's fourth and fifth. And you're strumming the bottom five strings. So. When the dog was starting to and the crickets lose their two, usually about that time. So it goes, it's usually about that. You're going to A minor, which is second. Um, Fourth and third. About that time, I feel most alive. Like the G. So let me play through it here. When the dog would start to run, and the pig gets on the turn. It's usually about that time when I feel most alive. So after it's C, go back to E minor, A minor, then back to G. You're gonna repeat it again for the second verse. But the news is all the bad. And the world just seems so sad. Ain't much else going on. I sit down and wrote this song. So again. So what I'm doing kind of as far as like a strumming pattern, doing that hammer on, hammer on up, and then I stop and then see that kind of Hammer, so hammer as you strum down, rake the strings, and then go to that D chord. That's kind of the strumming pattern he uses throughout the whole song. When the dog was start to bloom, and the crickets hung their tunes, usually about the time when I feel but the news is all been bad And the world just seems so sad Ain't much else going on I sit down and wrote this song Miss my mama, miss my dad So it goes to that C chord, start with the chorus When you're C at 9 Miss my mama, miss my dad Back that D Miss the road, I miss the van So I'm going to C to D to G Miss my mom, I miss my dad, miss the road, 
hold Repeat that again. Giving hugs and shaking hands. So after that G, I'm going to D, then that E minor 7. Keep the bottom two locked and pray. I, you can do it with both fingers, the fifth and fourth string, second fret, or I just use one finger and press both of those. Hands. So then you're going to repeat that again. It's a mystery, I suppose. Just how long this thing goes. There'll be crowds and there'll be shows. And then the last little part. But there'll be back to see. Light after dark. Some the deep. Baby, we are six feet apart. Go back and forth that little. That little strumming bank might be a little bit tricky for you if you're a beginner. Um, not all, obviously, most Luke Combs songs aren't this hard because he uses kind of the G, C, E minor, D. Over and over, she got the best of me. Houston, we got a problem. Hurricane, uh, Beautiful Crazy, and so forth. Uh, so, that's what my four chord song book, bing, up there, has a lot of Luke Combs songs on it where it's just the G, C, E minor, D. This is a little bit trickier having that, that, that kind of D Seuss uh, four chord, A minor, that kind of stuff. But again, for the verse, I mean for the chorus, start with a C at nine. I'm gonna play a little slower. I miss my mom, I miss my dad, miss the road and miss the band, giving hugs and shaking hands. Repeat it. And it's a mystery, I suppose, just how long this thing goes. There'll be crowds and there'll be shows. Luke's got some jams. Every song he does, I always say I'm going to send my kids to college on just YouTube earnings from Luke Combs songs. So, Luke, if you're out there watching, keep shooting those videos out, man. We appreciate you. All right, guys, check out my website. I still got my stuck at home quarantine deal going on. A lot of purchases on that. 15 bucks, both guitar DVDs and my songbook. Ridiculous deal. Way cheaper than one lesson. Full DVDs, two full DVDs of lessons and a songbook. Holla at you, boy. All right, countrysongteacher.com. Check it out. Love you guys. Please subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up. That helps YouTube promote it. Holla.